So I got a question from Mark. Mark says, when the pandemic started, I switched from barbell training to mostly calisthenics, chin-ups, dips, and pistol squats. Then once or twice a week, uh, I walk to the park with a 10 kilogram medicine ball in one hand. So I start with a long distance lightweight suitcase carry. Good. Then I slam and throw the medicine ball around before walking back home. I really like this. I feel like I'm always slamming the ball harder and throwing it further. But now that I can go back into the gym, I was curious. For a guy approaching his mid-30s that doesn't specialize in any sport, what do I lose if I stick to these high rep medicine ball throws over heavy deadlifts and cleans? Well, the first thing is, you're gonna, it'll, like you already noticed, it's fun. I mean, it's I, I love throwing stuff because, you know, uh, if you have a partner, I mean, we have we have a couple of games we play. Uh, I don't play this much anymore because I, I don't really have the equipment. And uh, but we call it's called Hoover Ball. It's where you play uh, volleyball, and you can look the game up. There's actual rules. Uh, you play volleyball with a medicine ball. Uh, I suggest more of a four or six pound Dynamax ball because it's just easier on the fingers. But my favorite game uh, with a medicine ball is called Ultimate, and I, and I do this with my St. Mary's students uh, in uh, Twickenham, uh, <laughs> is you play Ultimate Frisbee, but you play it with a medicine ball. And uh, all of a sudden, you, you, you know, you, you're out there for half an hour, 45 minutes, and everyone's weirdly tired but also having so much fun you just keep playing through it is interesting to watch people eat after that because they they tend to be like wow i'm i'm strangely hungry well yeah you just threw this ball around and sprinted up and down a field for an hour without even ever you know doing this or any of that which is all fine of course yeah i i think you you know, uh, a real easy way to think about this, Mark, is when you can go out and play, go out and play. So in the spring, summer months, if if you live where I live, that's it's medicine ball time. In the winter months where I live, uh, that would be your clean and deadlift time. And I think uh, long term, I think you'll really enjoy this to finish up on your questions. Is it unwise to return to the gym to build mass with compound exercises? Uh, but relegate my Olympic lifts in favor of medicine ball throws. Will people still ask me to help them move their pianos? Trust me, uh, if you do it, we just discussed, you know, clean and deadlift and Olympic lift when appropriate, medicine ball when appropriate, and even mix them in a week. There's nothing wrong with that. I think long term, you'll be moving people's pianos for a long, long time. And that, of course, is the most important thing of all, is uh, being the person that people call up when they want to move a couch. And uh, I'm proudly that person. So uh, love your question. Uh, the nice thing is you gave me two extraordinarily great options to pick from. And my answer was do them both. I hope that helps. Thanks.